The message is at the cross. At the cross now, there will be no preaching apart from the cross. The preaching of the cross, yes, it offends. Yes, he has late. Yes, it's a problem God to many. And yes, it is a sheer foolishness to others. But to those who believe, the Bible says it is the power of God unto salvation. As Christian, the ultimate knowledge is knowing Christ and Him crucified. The death of our Savior on the cross is the greatest event in human history. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2, For I decide to know nothing among you except Christ and Him crucified. Listen, there is no real knowledge apart from the cross. At the cross, man comes to the knowledge of self and God. At the cross, sin confronts man and God divine love. At the cross, death was slain and life restored. At the cross, God punished man's sins and man received God's forgiveness. At the cross, man at his worst and God at his best. At the cross, it is where light meets darkness and reveal certain vices and God's victory. First, the cause of the cross, the position of sinner without Christ, the punishment of sin death, the providence of God's purpose. Secondly, the characters of the cross, convict, critics, compassionate, choice, chance, crucifies and crucified. Third, the Christ of the cross, one sacrifice, one seamless, one savior, one slain, one serving. Fourth, the colors of the cross, the stripping, the scorching, the spat upon him, and the scorching him, and the crucifying him. Fifth, the churches of the cross, the convict, a sinner, the thief, become a convert. The creative become colors, the other sinner, the compassionate became convinced, the woman, and those by choice become converted, the gamblers, and those by that choice became conformers, Passover crowd, the crucified became captivated, the centurion, the crucified became the conqueror's Christ. Since the conquest of the cross, sin destroyed, Satan defeated, sinner delivered, salvation declared. Seven, the comfort of the cross, consolation, cancellation, conception. In conclusion, the only thing that will save this world is the cross of Jesus. That's right. The only thing that can save us is the cross of Jesus. It is not enough to know the region. It is not enough to know Christianity. It is not enough to be a member of the church. It is not enough to know the gift. Nothing will be enough until we know the cross and he crucified. That's the reason why Apostle Paul said, I don't want to know anything among you except Christ, he crucified. But I can say the same thing today to you, my dear friends. I don't want to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. At the cross, we receive salvation. At the cross, we receive forgiveness. At the cross, we are victorious over death. At the cross, we are victorious over priority of sin, which is death. At the cross, we receive eternal life. At the cross, we receive justification. At the cross, we receive love. At the cross, we receive sanctification. At the cross, we receive redemption. My dear friend, at the cross, the feet of Jesus is where the power is. Hallelujah. So give your life to Jesus Christ today because it's at the cross that you will be saved. Amen. Place in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord.